Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online, and today we're back at Cecil the Cynical, the yellow player, and I'm going to show you the craziest thing you've never seen before. If we get it, I'm going to try to get it. We're playing classic picks with blizzards and stable portals. Can we get a cyan blizzard today? Ah, oh, I tried, I tried, I really tried. We're going to get it one day. You can get a cyan blizzard if stable portals are on because this blizzard can cut this section off because the portal can access the other portals. So I have seen that before and I am trying to get it. I'm fishing, you guys know I'm fishing for it, but we didn't get it today. We have an Alaska blizzard. So North America is gonna be a two point guard with a portal. So being able to full stack this portal and then guard a bit of Greenland, North America is in a really good spot. White will be able to bring this five into the eight and start putting all of their troops in North America. So I'm yellow. Looks like my best play is going to be for Africa. I think I'm going to come through this green two, or what if it's still a green two. I'm going to try to get all of my troops moved into Africa. I've got 10 here and eight in Africa. I think Africa is my play. Can also big stack Madagascar and hopefully go for kills and stuff later. So what we're playing today, World Domination Classic Fixed. We've got Alliances on, Blizzards on, and Stable Portals. And a Hard AI 60 second turn timers. So good old Classic Risk. If you are new to the channel and you don't know how portals work, every portal can attack to every other portal. But other than that, it's a standard game of Risk. I know that might seem like a lot to take in, seeing this, this specifically being able to attack to so many different places. But once you play the game of Risk quite a bit, you do become more familiar with that and that just becomes another another thing you're, you're focused on right it's neat to note if you're stuck in here like purple and black one of them can run through this portal and get their troops out of the way without having to collude to uh, collide with each other and just die right so the portals allow a lot of freedom of mobility and uh, you can base more strategies around them so they are neat i know most newer players do shy away from them so it does take me a longer time to fill the lobbies but when we do we do have some really fun games you better go away from my Africa. Okay, good. He's he's going to kick blue out of South America. And I'm going to be going for Africa. Now, what's purple do? Purple maybe tries to get to Europe. Like, my instinct does not collide with black. Oh, he comes through this portal, maybe? He's going to come through this portal into Australia. Now, if he could combine the stacks together down here and let me through the portal, I would love him. Oh, he lost a four on two. That's good for me. Please don't move to the portal. Stay here. If he stays here, black can get out and I can get out. Stay there. Well played. Don't stack the portal. If he moves it to the portal, he has to die with black. Okay, so my plan is to do this. And I'm going to come out here. And then I bring my five on top of that. So now I have a 10 stack on a portal immediately. And I give purple an alliance offer. And I give black an alliance offer. And I give white an alliance offer. Sure. We're going to ally everybody because that's what we do before we betray them and hit them in the back door and take the W. Blue has already quit. Ludwig man. Interesting. Wonder why he didn't stick around, bro. He's got a paid avatar. This guy spent some money on his account, but he's not playing with us. Oh, we've got Hervey Fukuhara from Netherlands in the game. We've got General Kulkarni, 19414 in the game from uh, United States. Jojo from Germany. Lemuel Hound from United States. And then Ludwig Mann from United States, but he has left. The real Ludwig from YouTube would have stayed in this game and played with me. But this one right here, this man ran away. Maybe the real Ludwig on YouTube would get into a, a risk boxing match with me. Although he can't box, so we would have to do the slap. He did the slap for chess boxing. I think I could be a good slapper. I mean, I'm not experienced in it, so I'd have to practice, but... Alright. So White is going to combine his troops on both portals? He's going to do like a... No, he's bringing all... Okay. So the blue AI seems to be going for North America. So he's escaping the blue AI... And putting a claim down for Europe. Interesting. The good thing here, though, is the blue AI, once it does complete North America, which it probably will, 
um, it's going to be butting right into him on uh, through Iceland and through Central America uh, portal. So that will be fun to see. Hopefully Black is smart enough to let this six roll up because it does want to go up. Right, if, if he does, then the six goes up and gets out of his bonus for him. If he rolls the six, he's going to be very vulnerable. Alternatively, though, he wants to get this six out of Purple's way. But he could roll this over and up one to get out of Purple's way. And then that's his cards for the turn. And then bring North Africa to his six or to his seven. And then blue goes up. He allies me. I'll give him a thumbs up. So purple and black have both accepted my alliance. Purple's down to 14 troops, keep in mind. Oh, no. What are you doing, Dougie? Okay, he is doing exactly what I was suggesting. If he does hit this one, though, that's a bad idea. He should go to Siam. Or stay. I would like if he stays, but it's obviously bad. Yeah, and then bring North Africa in. Brings North Africa in. Okay, good. Perfect. So how does purple have no troops? I hit his two stack. He's going to take this. Like, he's basically killable. But he gets Australia immediately. So, okay. I'm going to take Africa now. I don't even think I'm going to wait. I think taking Africa now is the play. We're going to do this. Congo first, because I love it. Love me some Congo. And then blue is the AI. Black's giving me a thumbs up. So I will give Black a thumbs up. And then I will take it. Keep a three there. And I think the better play for me is to go 3-3-3 three, three, three guarding from Blue. And I think it's more likely that Blue is going to add in here and focus on its North America bonus. Yeah, it even goes on this portal. I think I guess it rolls the portal to Central America. Huh, interesting. Portals do make the AI act very weird. Oh, no, it hits the black three. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, like, a normal bot without portals would have attacked up to try to get its bonus and put a bunch of stuff. Okay, it comes in, too. It does still want the bonus, but it's acting a little strange. So, what happened to all of Purple's troops, right? Um, he hit a couple ones. He was fine there. I hit a two. He lost two ones there. Didn't he get smoked? Yeah, he got smoked rolling green, right? That was it. Okay. That's what put him so weak. Purple's on literally 13 troops. He just lost a three stack to white, too. White lost four rolling purple's three stack. So purple's on 13 troops, but he is going to get to hold Australia. But he will also lose this, too. So purple's essentially on 11 troops. He'll be on 16 when, uh, in a, when I trade on three, theoretically. Or no, that'll two, that's two turns from now. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. Let's just say purple is in danger. I'm in danger. And if we could get an infantry trade, an infantry card, not an infantry trade, uh, that would give us the all three trade for the plus 10 after the next turn, which I'm going to get six troops for this and then also get to put a big stack here. I think my next move is going to be to add three troops to here and six on two, the blue two to get blue away from me out of the middle of the board. And then I will bring this two in for a fortify and the rest of my excess troops will go on this tap. Yep, give black thumbs up. He's gonna take it and then sit in Venezuela. I will not break it until it's time to kill him. Yep, I'll give him a thumbs up. I want him to feel good about me. Now I can't fortify this two in, which is a little annoying. White is also killable. I could kill white for his three cards. Purple's going to five on two me here. That's interesting. I actually don't think I'm going to kill white for his two cards. I'm going to let white knock purple out. Wait, what is this? He's just hitting a bunch of... Oh, he's going for a white kill? No, that doesn't make sense. You can't kill white. Does white go for a purple? I, I think I wait a turn and I'm going to have a chance to kill white or purple. So I'm going to go one, two, three here. And put the rest on here. And I will roll this. And hopefully I don't lose very many. That's pretty good. And then I will uh, I will keep a 3-3-3. Three, three, three and make a 15. No dude card. So I have no trade on 3. But I have a 15. And say I get 6 troops next turn. I can make a 21. So a 21 going through the portal. I have access to killing white. I have access to killing purple. Theoretically. If I can get up here too, right? Now, what else do I have? 
I don't have access to black really well unless I go through the blue four in the portal. Or these fours. Right? So killing black's not very optimal. Killing white is. If white doesn't trade and he hits all of this of purple, I can maybe kill him for his four cards. He's not. He's going to chill. He's not going to go for the kill. Or he's not going to go for the bonus yet. He's going to stay strong as he can. Four cards for 20 troops. Still tempting. I wonder if purple would hit white for me. If purple trades on three, does he destroy white? Like, if you're purple... White accepts my alliance now. Yeah, interesting. People are very vulnerable for troops right now. Blue is as well. Like, do I abandon this to kill blue and take North America? Hmm. If black hits, like, the four stack of blue to hold this portal, do I go for the blue kill? I'd have to split, come through purple. It's awkward, though. I don't like it. Because black would be holding this portal, so I wouldn't be able to travel through it. Black has the big trade on three. He might go for a kill. Yep, thumbs up. He's adding fast. He's doing something. Oh, wow. Okay, so he does hit that and he stays there, I think. Yeah, okay, so my kill line on blue is not good. Does purple have a trade? He's on 22 now. White is the cheapest kill, other than blue, but I can't really get to blue. Like, I could kill white and then blue? I don't like it, though. I would kill white and then go into blue. But then even here, there's a split, like, because of this blizzard. It's just awkward. He loses the three on one. That's good. That makes purple easier to kill. If he lost a troop there, it'd be good, too. We're really close to being able to just kill everybody. Like, it sounds weird with everybody having 25 troops, but because everybody has four cards, we're really close to being able to just kill everybody. 33. Let's say I lose 20, killing white. That does put me in a weak position. But it gets white out of the game. Huh. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to wait. Gonna back off. I have the dude. I have a big trade on four. Now, here is the key. If white, green, or purple don't trade on four, or even if they do, blue's gonna have four cards. Oh, that is so good for helping hurt purple, man. Here's the thing. Now is the time. If these guys do not trade, I am going to demolish the board. Oh my god, white doesn't trade. I could kill white into blue immediately. If it was my turn now, I start, I get my bonus, get my trade. I kill white into blue. What's that leave me with? Maybe even purple. White, blue, and purple. Same turn. Can I kill everybody in the same turn, maybe? I, I've had one moment in Classic Fix where I could have done that before, but I didn't because I wanted to give somebody else second instead. <laughs> so, But killing everybody in one turn. I think if I can never do that again, I, I will. Even if I give the wrong person second place. Okay, green trades. Green could kill purple off this 13. I mean, it's a good play. I, I, I was going to thumbs up him and say hit purple, but actually if he does it, it's good for him. But I mean, also it would feed me blue better. Black may go for blue here. Like, if you are green here, you do kill purple and take Australia. A hundred percent you do that. It looks like he's going to do something else instead. He's going to go for the blue kill. He's going to screw it up. Or is he going to stack on this portal? He, okay, so green is not an experienced player. As you can tell, 19.414 is a brand new account. So it's good to know green's not super experienced. White, I, I think white is experienced but had no trade. He's in a rougher spot. I will kill white. White and blue are so vulnerable. If purple doesn't trade, what does he do? In purple's shoes, you might even think about trying to kill blue. No, he can't. He can't even get over here. <clears throat> I have white into blue. This Maybe purple would feed me white by screwing up or something. I'd love to see it. Maybe he hits the blue three. What's my pathway for blue? Portal. Oh, he puts 14 here. What's he doing? If he rams me, I can't go and kill everybody. That would be bad. 
Actually makes it more difficult to get blue up here, right? Oh, if he goes through here, though, that's good, because I can come right through. He's going to... Oh, wow! He smacks the black step. Oh, and he's helping me with blue! Okay. I'm going to have enough of a stack to go through the two, the two, and come this way, right? Wow. Give purple a heart and a thumbs up. Give black a heart and a thumbs up. Give green an alliance offer. 36. Okay, blue's gonna die. Perfect dice. Lose one. I wanna get as good a sliders as I can. I don't want to attack too fast to scare everybody, but I am going to kill white right now. Nine on the 16 is cool. More slider action over here. Not good. This triggers a trade, though, and I will be able to kill blue off of it. Um, not a good trade, though. Cavalry is not good. Then I will go for the blue kill, which is four more cards. Presumably, I'm going to get a good trade off of blue, though. And then Quebec. And then where do I go? I go to Europe? Hmm. Greenland plus two. Do I have a Quebec? I don't. Western Europe? Western Europe's good. Uh, Yakutsk. Kamchatka. This is fine. I do need a dude card at the end of my turn. So I could make a 22 stack and then keep going, but I'm not going to. I'm going to back off completely. Let everybody get a third card. Everybody has two cards, and I have four, right? Or Now I have five. They all get a third card, so I can trade, kill, trade, kill, trade, kill. Maybe fix chain? I try to ally green. Then I give black a thumbs up and purple a thumbs up. And now I'm sitting in, in uh, Europe with a 22 stack on a portal accessible to more people. He's going to break Europe. So green doesn't like my alliance. It, it, they do need to hit me or I'm going to win. So that I can be mad about that all I want. He should be hitting me. There's also a real chance that black's going to try to take North America now. Okay, he's going to break both bonuses. Now keep in mind, we know green is not a good player. He's a new player. Right? Just based on him not getting the kill earlier, he had the purple kill into the Australian hold. He'd be in a lot stronger position than he is now, and purple would be gone. Right? So, that's okay. Now, I don't have access to these portals because these haven't been hit yet. So the only kill I could really do would be black. Do I think I can kill black and then beat these guys? Like, Black has been a decent ally here, but, like, if I'm trying to win the game, do I think I can kill Black and then beat these guys? I don't know. What does Purple do? Does he come up to 17 and hit some of me? Because that opens me. He doesn't? Hmm. Still got five and a trade. It's a decent trade, South Africa. Oh, 35 troops to attack with. Black seems to be biding his time. Purple's purple's more reckless and green's a novice. Like, I'm mostly scared of black. So I think I'm going to go in on black. I need a good dice roll on this 23. 12 will do it. Okay. Decent dice. Do I have enough troops to beat both of them in a 2v1? Ah, uh, cavalry trade. Where are the dudes, bro? I can't get a dude this game. Uh, Congo? Peru? Peru's cool. Um, not Congo, why not? So now what do I do? I back off? To what? A different portal? 
Hmm. A lot of my troops aren't accessible, so I'm gonna. Oops, I'm gonna go here. That was a mistake. I'll bring this up to Ukraine. Uh, now I get a dude. Now I get the dude, which is what I needed. Okay. Give purple a thumbs up. Green is gonna fight me again and still. Now, is purple gonna chill or not? Is the question. How much does green hit me? Black was the biggest threat. I know he was my ally, but like all we did was we had two nice friendly borders. I let him hold South America. He let me hold Africa. At some point that alliance ends and the game's over, right? As soon as we start killing everybody. So I'm equal on troops with green, which is unfortunate because purple's about to go to 30. If purple doesn't trade, can I kill purple into punch green enough to beat him because he's slow and new? I think yes. But it, it depends if purple's going to um, trade or not. If purple doesn't trade. And he doesn't, it's not even like purple can hit green. Like green's 14 up here is so useless, but I mean, it has access to stuff, but so he breaks that. If he doesn't break Europe, because he's too slow, he's too slow to break Europe. If I get to hold Europe and purple doesn't trade, it's over. So first off, purple doesn't trade. Okay, he trades. The, the, them both having trade on three. Like, imagine they both had four cards and ten less troops. Purple's going to break Europe. Are they going to team on me? He's going to go through the portal. I think he breaks me. He's going to... He's... My boy? I get to hold Europe, I think. He's chilling? I get 11 and a big trade. Okay. Okay. Oh, man, I'm so close to being able to just double slam, destroy all of them. Where do I go? I have access to this purple portal, so I think my... And that green one's annoying. I have threes everywhere. Like, the biggest annoyance is all these threes. So I think I'm going to consolidate my troops by uh, Quebec, Greenland, India. Oh, my God. <clears throat> this is funny. Okay, Quebec. I have a... Uh, I already have a three on Quebec, so. So that'll give me more troops to bring to my stack. I have a 43 accessible to a portal and the board. I think if I... I don't know. It depends. Purple didn't hit very much. He's hitting one territory and chilling. Green only hit two, and he's spending a lot of time thinking. The downside, though, is a lot of my stacks are threes and they're not useful. Because he takes South American. Here's the thing. Now I could ask Purple to hit green. He's thinking. He doesn't actually take the bonus. I still hold Europe. So I'm 54. Um, purple goes to 47. Like, as it stands right now, I'm going to get 5, 11 troops on my turn. I'd be at 83. It's really close to killing both of them. If they had more cards, I could. He's going to go for North America. Hits the green one. Hits my two. Bad dice? Nope. Here's the thing. If purple's going to take North America, I actually do have to make a move. Give him a thumbs up. I'll just give him a thumbs up. This is a problem. Doesn't break me? Doesn't break me. Green's such a loser. Oh, he bannons Australia. Do I move to Australia? I get nine. I have 75 troops. Could I kill purple and beat green in the 1v1? I think I can, if I'm being honest. Is 52 enough to kill his 47, though? Because a lot of my troops aren't active. Twenty one on that? Are you serious? I cannot believe the dice, dude. There, that was a, that was an over ninety percent chance to kill him. Twenty one and a nineteen with a good slider. That's a, a pretty much worst possible roll you could get. Oh, I went for the win, and I ah. green should kill purple, but he's too slow. 
He's actually not putting troops in the position to kill purple. So I should be able to... If I kill purple for three cards, he only gets three. Like, he actually is going to screw up the purple kill by going... If I still win this, stop. If he stops, purple gets a card and I kill him for his cards. That's what I mean. Even if that... I want I want to signal that I'm freaking out. Oh no. Please don't get the kills. Maybe you can Okay, he's going for Africa instead. Oh my god, he's not even killing purple. That was my read. Green was a newer player and didn't know what he was doing. Uh purple maybe breaks Europe, but even if he does or doesn't, I will get his kill for three cards. Please purple still be here and take a card. I need purple to take a card. Uh green's 10 is trapped. He's here. Good. Actually, him not taking a card does guarantee me Europe. He's going to break it. Oh, he might actually break both if he gets good enough dice. Is this... Don't do it to me. Okay, he doesn't get this one. So, strategically. Um, nine. I need to also break this, right? Can I? Well, I get a trade-off killing purple, so let's do that. Yeah. Okay. So, three on one. Nice. Kill purple. Now we get him the next turn. Unbelievable game. We're uh, playing slightly lesser skilled opponents. Please. Yes, exactly what I needed for a big trade. I had double cavalry. Uh, do I have a Central America? I don't. Do I have something that helps me? Peru? No. Eastern Australia? North Africa? North Africa helps. Yeah, that seems fine. Put stuff in here. Now you slam green. Some sliders. Oh man, another 99% roll. Whatever. Stop complaining about the dice, Kilted. But sometimes they are horrific. So, he has 41 troops to my 38. But this 14 and 6 are kind of not really doing much. He probably forgot about them. And I have a trade on 3. Like, it's possible he's playing on mobile and he's like, okay, time to make my attacks. Time to get them. Underlay. Curious. I, I think black was a higher skill level. White, maybe? Yeah, I think white and black were higher skill levels. So, like, me recognizing to kill them. Like, we'll, we'll see at the end of the game. But I think you guys are like, you're just beating up a novice now. I think purple and green were the novices. And I think I recognized that at the start. And I recognized white and black as the bigger threat. So, that's why I killed white and black first. And uh, hopefully when we check the ranks, I can beat vindicated all right enjoy your uh couple of continents but they're not gonna help you oh the 14 comes out to play he found it he found the spot and instead of using the portal to break stuff he's stuck stuck in the middle with you okay here we go 27 should clean this and uh should be fine Just got a little tiny up Yeah, and then we will uh, put the troops on this portal so I can come through this portal and follow whatever he does. Hit him with a good game. Yeah, hopefully uh, Green is probably new to the game, so hopefully he learned something here. And hopefully he feels good with the second place. Like, honestly, he had the win when I went over Greedy on the purple kill. I could have waited a turn, but I... I didn't want to let purple hold North America, right? Like, I saw a 90-plus percent chance at a win. At least I'm, I'm guessing it was 90-plus percent chance at winning there. And I'll, I'll just fire off on that, right? And then even if that misses, apparently Green wasn't good enough to recognize that he could have killed Purple into into me, right? Green was signaling pretty pretty much the whole game that he was a newer player, so quite content with that. Uh, he does break all of the bonuses except for Australia. Good for you. That that is the that is the number one thing you want to do in uh, a one v one is you want to break all of the opponent's bonuses first and then try to hold a bonus, right? So my next strategy is going to be... Where's the six coming? And he activates his troops. Yo, good on this guy, man. Honestly. Good on this guy. Uh, let's see. Seven, six, five, four. Yeah, something like that. Let's see. Let's see if he can break my North American continent, though. 
Oh, he's got five cards, so actually I bet he does. <laughs> I bet he does. Um, we'll bring this three down here. So I have two cards. I have 37 troops to his 60, uh, 16, <laughs> 67. If he had 67, that'd be very bad for me. He doesn't even realize he's got a trade. He's placing his troops, and then he's going to be like, oops, why won't it let me attack? Oh, I have to, I have troops. Oh, look, I get more troops. Nice. I'll put them down too. Now, where do I go? Time to attack yellow. Go get them. Okay. I heard Australia is the best position on the board, so I'm going to go for that first. Boom. Nice. Okay, got him. Or he's thinking, if I got to go out, I'm going out in Australia. No. Oh, look, a little portal whoop de doo He hit me with the slapper reach around. Didn't like it. Now he's going to come through. He's, he is going to break all of them. Yo, good on this guy. I think this guy's learning in real time. Like, he... Like, this might literally be one of his first games, because he is very much improved since 10 minutes ago. So, honestly, props to him. Uh, I still have a ton of territories. I get seven troops, so I can do a lot of stuff. Yeah, we will. Uh, one, two, three, four, five... Take as many continents as possible and take as many territories from him as possible. So this is what you do in a 1v1. You make sure... He left me on 21 territories, so I get 7 troops for that. My goal now is to knock him as low on territories as possible. So I've got him to 13. If I win this... Now he's on 12. So if I win a roll, like a 2-on-1, -on he'll be under 12. And he only gets 3 troops on his turn. And that should give him three troops only, unless he's got a trade. If he pulls off the trade, I'm going to cry. He has the trade. Triple cavalry. That's why I do not have a cavalry. All right. Well, good for him. He's 24 troops to my 30 with three cards. I will win, but uh, him having a trade on three does extend it a little bit, because he will get the break again. He's going to hit the two, or hit the one first. Hits the two. He should hit the one first, so he could come here and then do this. Now, now he's going to have a tough time breaking Australia. He doesn't quite get there. That's fine. Blitz is the 2 on one In here. Okay. Good game. Now, I will come out a different way. Brings the 3 to where? To here? Okay. I'm going to go right through that. So, And also the slider makes a big difference in the one-on-one -on -one, because you lose one or two less troops. It makes a massive difference. And boom. We've got him to 11 again. And I'm going to put... Ah, we want another one of them. Good old... Good old 1v1s. Now he gets three troops again. And I have the artillery trade. So no matter what he does here, I will end it this turn. Good game. I had a lot of fun on this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you. And I am going to keep trying my best to get a Siam Blizzard. And show you guys the fiesta that turns out that happens for Australia when that happens. Everybody just starts portal ganking Australia like it's the greatest thing in the world. And uh, a lot of people feel it is the greatest thing in the world. So, all right, I think I can just do this. Something like this should be adequate. Good game, everybody. Let's check the ranks. So green's going to be a novice for sure. Uh, pink, maybe beginner. I want to see white and black. They could definitely be experts or something. Maybe even a little higher. I'm not sure. Hard to get a full read on them, but they're definitely better than novices. I say that, and they're going to be novices. Uh, all beginners. Okay, this was actually a lower skill lobby completely. And it it showed, I guess, with the way we got to abuse it. And uh, But that's how I like to play Classic Fix. Not against lower skill players, but I like to play it where... When people are on 20 to 25 troops with four or five cards, I like to chain kills and try to have a nice quick game. Uh, it prevents that long three-hour stalemate where everybody's like, hit that guy, hit that guy, and then nobody does anything. Those are the long, boring, grindy games, and I try to avoid those on this channel and in all the in all of my games. Any game I play, I'm full aggression, pedal to the metal. So, hope you guys had a, a great time watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.